And now we take a look at the financial impact of the recent war in Gaza. Not recent per se, it has been going on for the past eight months. Moving on. Israeli defense companies saw a surge in profits while the U.S. supplied Israel with billions of dollars in weaponry. Our next report explores the rise and what it suggests about the global arms trade. Take a look. The year 2023 saw a surge in profits for Israeli defense companies. This growth coincided with the outbreak of the Hamas conflict in Gaza on October 7th, 2023. All three major companies reported significant increases in sales and order backlogs. Israel Aerospace Industries experienced a 49% jump in net profit and Rafal boasted an 85% increase in orders. Elbit Systems reported highest first quarter profit as demand soared. The company's revenue rose by 11.5% to $1.55 billion. Interestingly, 71% of the company's current order backlog is attributed to orders outside Israel. The United States has played a major role in this rise in defense shares. Following the Hamas attack, the US began supplying Israel with massive quantities of weaponry, including over 15,000 bombs and 50,000 artillery shells within the first month and a half. These transfers, exceeding $14 billion, were shrouded in secrecy to avoid public scrutiny. This surge in arms sales benefited not only Israeli companies, but also major US defense contractors like Lockheed Martin and Raytheon. Their stock prices rose significantly after the conflict began. This is reflective of a global increase in defense spending fueled by anxieties surrounding the war in Ukraine. This trend highlights the complex relationship between international conflicts, arms sales, and corporate profits. Business Bureau, Vion World is One.